I'm Nita. And I'm Shanae. And today we're talking all about a super, super duper console. is the Super XL. That's right, and now available in a skinnier version. Wow, as in <laughs> two size. That's right, they're fine too. I'm really trying to sell it to them. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a bit of excitement first up in the movie. <laughs> Okay, so yes, today is all about the Super XL. Now, this is one of my favourite folding saws. I love the Super XL. I don't know if it's because we've had a long-term relationship, because I've had it for about 19 years. No. <laughs> but I love the Super XL. One thing that's very cool about the Super XL is that it's fairly lightweight, but doesn't compromise any strength. Yeah. The handle has an aluminium uh, sort of, we call it chassis, body, that's coated in that special gom rubber that Silky are famous for. And that just makes it a much lighter saw to carry. So when I'm gardening around my place on my acreage, um, I can just tuck that in my pocket. And I don't even know it's there and it doesn't sort of add any weight. It's really, really comfortable to carry and beautiful to use. Yes, so the Super Excels are available in a 21 centimeter oh, yeah. blade only. Um, mm -hmm. So that's on both the large tooth and the fine tooth. But it's a good length. It is a good length. You it's can, good length. And like Anita was saying earlier, that it's a good length so you can fold it up and pop it into your back handle, yes. back pocket, sorry. <laughs> Um, without it being such a pain. Getting in the way. Yeah. Hooking on things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we'll be able to cut those larger branches. Yeah. Yeah. And 21 centimeters is good because if you are cutting smaller branches and like a bush, it's still not so long that you're going to accidentally cut branches behind the one you want to cut. So it's a really good in between length of 21 centimeter. It is. It is. Um, another unique thing about these two saws is they have the two notches at the end. Yes. So that means it has two blade settings. So this yeah. is your first setting. Um, for your kind of general pruning mm -hmm. side of things, and then you have the second setting once it's clicked in, so you can more cut um, branches that are in front of you but hiding behind. You can prune them yeah. without damaging. You need another option for angle. Yeah. yeah, or if you're cutting flush. Yeah, now that I've told a story I think numerous times about this with the Super XL that I actually had a garden in the front of the house that um, I wanted it to be a bit shorter because it took the full length of the house and I only wanted like three quarters. So, being lazy, I didn't want to take all the sleepers up to change you know, how long it was. So, I just got my Super XL large tooth and cut it flush to the grass, threw away the foot of foot long bit of sleeper that I didn't want, and then just brought the other piece, the end piece, across. So, that was a really handy setting because it allowed me to cut flat to the grass without having to take that sleeper up to do it on a bench or anything. So, really, really handy. And yeah, cut the sleeper like nothing. It was great. Awesome. I know because it's really hard timber. Yeah, yes. and normally, it doesn't work well with the large tooth and half timber, but the Super XL is super. It's super so super. it did it. <laughs> yes. Oh. Um, another uh, great thing about the Super it's Super XL, sorry, mm. is that it has the chrome plating, chrome plating <laughs> in the blade. Yes. <laughs> so with that in mind, even though it has that special chrome plating, we still highly recommend you clean your saw after you've used it. We recommend the Easy Cleaning Spray. It is brilliant. Watch our video on it. You'll see what difference it makes. Yeah. Um, and then to spray it with a lanolin and a sheep oil spray because it has no solvent in it and it will create a beautiful protective coating and protect that blade. So yes, it has the chrome or the nickel to protect the blade, but we still recommend you clean it and give it a uh, spray with a lubricant to give it extra protection. Yes. So now to the fun part. Yes. We're going yes. to demonstrate the the difference between a fine tooth and a large tooth. On Nice. You put the saw next to it so we can see the size. So it's a large tooth, super XL. How big would you say that is? Like two, three, two, two and a half, yeah. Inches. And then this is the fine tooth. Now we would not normally recommend you use a fine tooth for something this big. So you can see that took a lot longer because as Talitha just whacked it against the tree there, she's clearing the wood out of the teeth because you can see they sort of clogged up even though she's done a tappity tap to clear it. Um, not ideal for that sort of size wood. Ah. Okay, so we're going to use the large tooth on this branch which is about an inch again. 
So that's cut it through, not too bad. Um, there is a bit of tearing sort of there, which you could probably rectify by undercutting it. But that's what a large tooth is going to do on a smaller branch. Now we're going to use the fine tooth on a similar branch. Actually, we'll go with the smaller one here, just to show you what a fine tooth will do. Beautiful. And these two babies. So it's fine tooth, super excel. Nice for tidying up branches like this. And, oh, look, lots of ants. We're going to get out of here. Nice. All right, now we'll go with the large tooth. Large tooth Super XL in the same spot so you can see the difference it makes. Large tooth versus fine tooth and a similar size piece of wood. And this is fresh wood. So you can sort of see it's biting a bit more. It's a little bit more biting, but when we go bigger down the bottom, the large tooth is ideal. Now if we try and use the fine tooth, we'll find that it will actually clog up a bit. And a bit slower cutting. A lot more strokes with that fine tooth on a bigger branch. Great. Fine tooth. Super easy, super fast. Large tooth. It catches nowhere near as nice, nowhere near as easy to cut. But we'll show you again. Fine tooth. Super smooth and easy. Large tooth. Got through it, just not as comfortable or quick as the fine tooth. How do I know which sort of pick? Because hello, not all the branches in my yard are the same size. Or I'm a contractor, so clearly I'm going to do a variety of different size cuts. So. How do we figure out which one to pick? In this aspect, majority rules. So yeah. if you are cutting more large branches, so your wrist, the arm. Yep, um, go big. Go big. Yep. If you're cutting thumb, fingers, yep. go small. Size, we're talking size. Don't cut people's fingers and thumbs off. No, they do cut them well. They do. Actually, send us <laughs> pictures if you do. <laughs> I, saw it on social, I saw it on social media the other night. It was like, silky bites. Everyone send oh. us your picture of your silky bite. And it was saying that silkies require a blood sacrifice. <laughs> so yeah, if you've had that happen, by all means, please share. <laughs> but slightly getting off track. <laughs> um, so yeah, go with what's most common. So what you're most of the time going to be cutting. Because as you saw, the big tooth, it will cut the smaller branches. It just won't give a great job. And it probably yeah. will bite you when it does. So keep your hands away. If you're a camper or a hiker or a bushcrafter and you are wanting something small enough to fit into your backpack but you are the weight to issue, mm. we have a set of scales here and we have two saws, a fine tooth and a large tooth, yes. and we're going to weigh them so you can have a rough idea of how much weight you'll be carrying. Yes. So starting with the large tooth Super XL, I'm going to pop it down on the scales here. And it's just under 200 grams, so the scale here says 199. Mm. So, and we will take that one away, then we'll put the fine tooth saw on, and you are looking at just a 194. So, so a little slightly bit, lighter. Yes, yeah, slightly lighter. Now, the most popular bushcraft uh, survival saw in Australia at the moment is your Gonboy 210. So, just to give you a comparison, because it's the same length blade, 234. Yep. So it is lighter than the Gomboy. If you do have the Gomboy and you want a lighter option, same length blade though and going to perform pretty much the same duties to a degree, then you want to go Super XL. That is all from us this week. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, like and comment. Um, we love hearing from you. And um, send us some pictures. Yes, send us pictures. <laughs> Don't forget to clean it as well. We do have a great yes. antibacterial cleaning spray called Easy Spray. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find it on our website. Just gives it a nice um, protective coating to get all that sap off the blade. Yes. Alongside the lamp. That's right. Thanks for watching and you have a fantastic week. Bye. Bye. Bye.